What's going on guys? Coming to you recording from Chicago, Illinois. In today's video, Samir, what do we have in store for? We are going to talk to you guys about our four top tips when it comes to plumbing issues in a mobile home. Stay tuned. And for the best mobile home investing advice, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of videos we post every week. So one of our first mobile home investments had terrible plumbing issues. It was a nightmare for us to try to fix. And so we don't want that to happen to you. For sure. And that's why we're coming together today to bring you this video to help you out on any type of mobile home inspections you're about to do in regards to the plumbing. So stay tuned. Inspection tip number one when it comes to plumbing is just simply asking the seller for a copy of their utility bill. You want to know are the past three months usually lower, below $60 a month in regards to the water bill, or are they skyrocketing $100, $200, $300 per month? If they are, you know this is a red flag. You're going to need to check on that plumbing. There's some type of plumbing issue going on. Go ahead and check the utility bill first. It'll save you a lot of time. So inspection item number two is the piping. So underneath mobile homes, they have all of the pipes. A lot of times if the home's not ground set, you can peek under there and you can kind of see what the piping is looking like. You just want to make sure you don't see any loose pipes, any missing pipes, or any big leaks underneath the home or around the home because obviously that's going to drain the water bill and it's going to be a problem when you have to repair it. So make sure you're checking the pipes underneath the home. And number three is faucets. Make sure you're going inside of all the bathrooms. Go inside the kitchen, just turn the water on. Let's make sure to have adequate flow of water. If it doesn't, you know there's an issue going on that needs to be addressed. And you wanna make sure that there's hot and cold water coming out of the kitchen and bathroom sinks. Don't be afraid to flush the toilet. Let it flush and see, is there any type of leaks going on? Does it continue to drain after you flush? Make sure you do your due diligence and do all of these things the proper way because it'll save you a lot of time and money in the long run. And lastly, number four is to check all of the appliances and specifically the washer and dryer. A lot of times there's a lot of water damage if there is a leak near that washer and dryer because they're still running them. So you wanna make sure you look behind them if you can pull them out a little bit, make sure they're connected, make sure that there's no leaks or signs of water damage behind the washer and dryer. Also check the dishwasher. That's another one where there's always signs of water damage if there's some plumbing issues. For sure, and don't be afraid to turn them on. Remember, you're buying the house, the seller needs to sell the house. So do your due diligence, protect your time, protect your wallet. So now you know our top four inspection items when we're looking for plumbing issues in a mobile home, but this doesn't mean much if you don't know how to find your next deal. That's why we created Trailer Cash Checklist for Beginners. In this free checklist, you'll learn the step-by-step -step process we took to complete over 200 mobile home transactions in two and a half years. You can download this free checklist at the link below this video or by going to trailercashchecklist.com. If you want to join a community of trailer flippers just like you, we've started a Facebook group where we share all types of tips and tricks, advice, wins and losses, all of that stuff's in there. Please join, introduce yourself, and say hello. And as always, if this video was helpful, be sure to write helpful below, subscribe, and hit the bell button to be notified of videos we post every week. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you later.